Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Mary Pedrick, and I'm the Program Manager of Volunteer Training and Engagement with Girl Scouts of South Carolina Mountains to Midlands. We are relaunching Rallyhood in our council this year. Staff has just completed training, and we are now preparing for upcoming service unit manager and troop leader trainings in May and July, respectively. To help everybody get jazzed up about Rallyhood and get ready to attend those training events, I've asked a veteran Rallyhood user to give us some insight from the volunteer perspective. My name is Rose Martinez. I've been a co-leader in the council for four years. I have a multi-level troop and I have gone from uh, just a few girls in a small troop to now almost 25. Wow, that's awesome. And what part of the region of our council are you in? Greenville area. All right, awesome. How long have you been using Rallyhood and which rallies are you active on? I have been using Rallyhood since it was first rolled out to us in 2020 at the start of the pandemic. We use it extensively in our service unit um, and I've hosted a few rallies there. During the pandemic, we did a online thinking day episode and so we had a rally just for that. I also participate in the Friends of Camp Wayback rally and a number of the current council rallies. You mentioned that we did launch it initially in 2020 and then COVID hit. So rally had just kind of got lost in the mix of everything happening at that time. But you were one of the few volunteers who logged on and stayed on. So what kept you engaged in it? What do you see as some of those benefits as a troop leader benefits for your SU team or other things that kept you engaged on Rallyhood? Well, as a service unit, we had previously used other social media platforms to communicate. There were so many different platforms that people were paying attention to. Everybody had their um, favorite platform that they were engaged on personally, and it became really complicated to try and keep everybody together. So when Rallyhood first rolled out, a tremendous potential here. And we jumped on it right away. We use it to keep all of our, our records, our forms, and we know that everything is in one place. So when we wanna talk about, well, what did we do for service unit encampment three years ago, we can go and see all of the forms, what was the schedule, everything that we used to register and what our menus were and all of those kinds of things that are out there that we can refer back to. We also use it for communicating out. One of the things that I love about Rallyhood is that it allows a user to decide on push-pull communications. So at any time, a user can go in and log into their rallies and see all the information that's there and all the communications that are going on. But there's also push notifications to each user either individually on a particular message topic or via the daily summary that the user receives across all of their rallies. That satisfies both kinds of users and the, the way that they like to communicate, and that's been extremely effective for us. This time around, do you feel like that with council staff hosting rallies and actively engaging with volunteers and having this sort of streamlined central location for communication and sharing, do you think that's going to help improve some cohesion in our council among staff and volunteers? I think that will, because with the permanence of the information that's in Rallyhood and the fact that a user can search for what they're looking for, that's going to easily allow um, a staff member to answer a question and others to be able to see that same answer. This way we can get real time information and have a continuing dialogue that people can see what's going on and what's the information being shared. So it does give you that permanence, but it also gives you the peace of mind knowing that the conversations that we're having about our Girl Scouts, our members, and our staff are in a secured location that isn't publicly available to everyone. With new tools, there's always going to be questions and concerns as people conquer their learning curves. So as somebody who's already been through those ups and downs, what are some of the challenges that you could potentially speak to to help others kind of prepare as they get ready to hit the ground running with Rallyhood? And then 
what are the most exciting things that people could look forward to as they get ready to dive into Rallyhood? And the challenges that I had initially was trying to figure out where everything was, right? Learn, learning the terminology, uh, looking it with my girls as well, they seem to pick on it fairly quickly too. It's available for mobile platforms as well as a desktop environment. Some of the challenges that we've had is, is trying to figure out how to do things like forms, um, get information back from members of the rally, which could either be you know, service unit volunteers or troop leaders or our troop members and their families. What I am excited about it, the fact that we can share easily a an event that maybe our troop or our service unit is going to host across various areas of our council. Being able to process a payment online without, as a troop leader, having to learn about various different cash transaction apps or do any kind of setup in a major way, knowing that Girl Scouts has already vetted this platform and the processing that it has, to me, is worth the small fee that comes with it and the peace of mind and the security, knowing that no one is extending their personal information out. Very true. Very true. And it is worth just commenting on the financial piece that we use Stripe. Uh, well, Rallyhood uses Stripe and there is a fee associated, but the fee can be passed along to the person providing the payments. if you choose to do it that way. So, you know, Rose and I have spoken about before the, the possibility of here, you can pay via Stripe if you want to use a card or you can bring cash to our next service unit meeting or it's just providing an option and alternative. Before we call this a wrap, is there anything else that you'd like to speak to or comment on? The most important thing for me about Rallyhood is the security that it provides for our Girl Scouts. There are so many social media apps and various different cloud-based apps. While they are free to the user, there's a cost associated with that and the information that you're giving away. And I think it's very important to protect our Girl Scouts. We don't ever want to put them at risk. And to me, that's the peace of mind that Rallyhood brings to our environment holistically. It's wonderful to know that we do have a volunteer out there who's putting that at the core of everything that she does with technology and trying to help us promote that out with everybody else. All right, Rose, well, thank you so much for sharing your time and your knowledge with us. And you guys can reach out to her or to me if you have questions as they come up. Good luck with training. If you can't make it to the live events this summer, then they will be recorded and they will be posted onto our website so you can access it at your leisure. Once you get logged on, please don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Thank you. Bye, Rose. Bye.